So I was asked just a few short days ago to do a 2020 update on how to paint a car in NR2003. Mainly because as of recently, my how to paint a car in NR2003 video all the way back in God of Day of Forever Go Notice 2017 is getting so much more attention uh, now that my most one of my most popular videos on this channel i think the po most popular video on my channel aside from the the dairy queen shrimp meme video which is still somehow getting more attention somehow getting attention today even though i made that it's just as old and i made that in like 20 seconds in premiere pro when i had the free trial version of it but more on that way down the line in my podcast i'll link in the description below I felt like today I would make a how-to video in 2020 of how to paint a car in NASCAR racing season 2003. So let's get started. So the first things first that you want to do is of course you want to have an editing software whether that be Photoshop or whether that be GIMP. For the tutorial back in 2017 I used GIMP. However just as soon as I got done recording that video I'm pretty sure I got Photoshop. And I've had Photoshop for about about three years now. However, my Photoshop just recently ran out. And I don't plan on getting it back. Why? Because I absolutely don't want to pay a hundred thousand bucks a month for Photoshop. So we're gonna find GIMP. There's GIMP. And in order for you to get GIMP, all you have to do is just type in GIMP.com and this uh, will be free to download. This is free to download on their website, of course, and this is their latest. Yeah, the latest version, 2.10.18. Now, I do have a version of Photoshop here that is actually pirated, and that's all the way back in 2012. <laughs> I don't recommend pirating stuff, but I do have a version of Photoshop that is very, very, very old, older than my dad, probably. So, first things first, we're going to need templates. Now, I don't know exactly where to download a bunch of the NR2003 templates because most of the websites that support NR2003, like mods back in 2017 or 2018 when I first got this computer, they don't exist anymore. Or they don't have the templates so the easiest way to really get templates is to look up some nice little fancy websites I will put some websites down in the description below uh, where you can find a lot of templates on mods and stuff like that you can get it from you know basically anything that pops up here on Google so yeah but you know while I'm down here might as well grab go into big evil racing because if you remember back in 2017 I made when I made that video, I said, in order for you to get numbers, you really want to go on Big Evil Racing. I still recommend these guys because, well, you know, they're really good. Now, you don't really have to go for, like, uh, numbers from, like, the Cup Series or whatever, like these numbers. They're custom, like, Roush number fonts, uh, Penske Racing fonts, and some other racing fonts and stuff like that that you could probably find online as well. In fact, I think they may be on Big Evil Racing if you look hard enough, but they may, they may not be the, the fonts that you're looking for. So, But I already have about every single number known to man, not only from Big Evil Racing, but from other websites, uh, excuse me, other websites as well. And I'm sorry about the voice crack. As you can tell, it is currently midnight. Yeah. <laughs> 24 hour clock, you can't tell the difference, possibly. Alright, so, Gimp. Do you want to know how much I know how to use Gimp? From 2017 all the way up to now, I know nothing about this program anymore. So I'll be quite honest. I do not know really how to... I don't really know, like, the, the main shortcuts. Okay. All I know is scale and move. And scale and move are, like, the, the two things that you're really going to need to do. So let me find a template really quick. I don't know where they would be at. So give me a moment. All right. So I found a template here, it was for 2004, so this goes into the original cut mod, so, yeah. So, mainly what you really want to do is, whenever you want to change your car body color, of course you would not go to freaking helmet parts, I don't know why I did that. You click on car body, and then you use the paint tool, and then you would just splat, there you go, if you want it white or something like that. I also have no creative experience. I don't know how to paint. I don't know how to draw. If I knew how to draw, I'd be making a manga right now. But I don't know how to draw. 
So, yeah, there's that. The main thing I would say is that if you need, like, help, like, scaling or something like that, just go into help and go search and run for a command and just type in scale. It, it helps you out right there. I do recommend it for beginners doing that, but since it's not, you know, since it's not very easy to, to, to manage at first because when you're in Photoshop, it's easy. But you just go to help, search for a command, type what you need help on. It should pop up. Okay. And, you know, you got a lot of different options and stuff like that. Now, if you want to know how to put, like, sponsors and stuff, here's what I recommend doing. I recommend going into your search engine, whether it be Google, whether it be Bing, whether it be DuckDuckGo, whether it be Reddit. I don't freaking know. Whatever that gives off images. Whatever images you're wanting to look up, make sure they're PNG files. Because if they're JPEGs, well, you're going to be dealing with a white border, or black border, or different colored border than it being transparent. So whatever you want to put in sponsorships or whatever for your car, make sure you use, or even numbers, make sure you go to File and Open as Layers. Because if you click Open, it will open up up here, and you will not really be able to drag and drop it into here, unlike in Photoshop. And I keep comparing Photoshop because, of course, Photoshop... If you can get Photoshop in some way, I recommend it because it's like the easiest thing in the world to, to like create stuff like that. And everything is a breeze. If you do want to spend twenty dollars a month, go ahead and get Photoshop. I do recommend you know the twenty twenty version because not only it everything moves smoother, I guess. So you just open as layers and let me go find my. This is like the worst thing in the world for me because I don't I don't freaking know what I'm doing here. Like okay, where's downloads? There's downloads. Downloads will take an eternity, if not blue screen my computer. Thank you. All right. See, so and all right. So you have PSD files when you download the the numbers. So let's say I opened up this 12 font here. It will open up several different like versions of or like several different things like the BER. Turn that off. Turn the background off. It doesn't matter if the background is on or off. Well, it doesn't matter if the background is off when you export the car. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I think scale, I think the shortcut for scale, that's not it. That's, yeah, the shortcut for scale is shift S. And uh, whenever you highlight a quarter, you know, unlike Photoshop, you can move this around and stuff like that. Okay. And, yep, you can move it just like that. I don't know. Like, in, like in 2017, I said I didn't know how to do, like, the, the like how I'd make them too big or make them too small. Yeah, that's the same thing here. So, yep. Yeah. There's that. And then you just click scale. And there it is. And then you can right click it. Duplicate the layer. And use the move tool. Move it. Make sure though. When you are. Using the move tool. Make sure you have the bottom one selected. On the tool toggle. Move the active layer. Because if you have this on. There will be times where you will have this little finger pointing. Yeah, that means that when you click, it'll change it to that layer that you try to hold. So if you're trying to move the 12, sometimes, especially if it has like more than one layer like this, like how it is right now with the 12, yeah, it will do that. I will not recommend that. To undo something is, of course, Control Z if you are on Windows, and that's Command Z if you're on uh, Macs and stuff like that. Rotate maybe. Sh yep, rotate is Shift R. And, you know, make sure it's at a nice 180? Yeah, 180 degrees. I thought it was 90 for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. And then that's how you would get your numbers plastered on the thing. Or even sponsorships, I guess. So, there's that. Now, back in 2017, I gave, I had a purpose of using the, the tutorial because I was wanting to paint a car for the... For the... Uh, for the once was known as a GRL server, but since I haven't touched that R since the beginning of 2019, I really haven't had any reason to really make any cars. But whenever you want to export your cars, uh, make sure you go to export as, and right here there'll be this little button that says select file type by extension. Click that, drag all the way down to where you'll find this TGA, TGA image. And go into your NR2003 directory, which would be in this case right here. I I messed around a lot with those things. And then you just make sure it's in your exports and imports. 
when that is going down. I'm going to load it at R and I'm going to see what exactly happens when I click this because it may be full screen. It may not be. Hold on. If it's full screen, it may not. I may have to restart my OBS. No, okay, we're good. So, at Art Sounds of 3 is loading up and my reshade, of course, is loading. So, this takes quite a bit of time, but there's a reason why I'm loading this up. So, I can show you exactly what you would do when you want to uh, import a car into at Art Sounds of 3. So, once you have your at Art Sounds of 3 uh, game open up, you go to the mod that you want to. There it is. Go into Opponent Manager. You want to click New, and then you want to make sure your chassis is set to the template that you were on, whether that be Chevrolet, Dodge, Ford, Pontiac, etc. Make sure you give it a file name, of course. Now, one thing I did forget to mention recording this, when you're exporting the, when you're exporting your car, there will be templates that say turn mask off before exporting. You really don't have to do that. I've exported uh, like hundreds of cars with the mask turned off and turned on it doesn't make a difference whatsoever so whatever if you have that question whether you need to have the mask on or if you need to have the mask off it's basically your preference the only reason why you would want to really have the mask turned off so you can see like the full like color or whatever is if you need to like make slight color adjustments that are off the the, the car body or something like that but I really would, you know, I would fret, I want to say. Don't panic over exporting it with the mask turned on or turned off. It really, really doesn't matter whether you have it on or off. And then you would just click this import and you would find your your car. And then just click OK and it would load in and stuff like that. And if you're using it as AI, you would give it ratings. Now, do keep in mind that when you actually import the car, there will be times where your game will freeze up for a few seconds. That's just because, you know, when you initially put it in, it'll probably take about roughly three to five seconds to put in the car, like paint scheme itself. And then once you click done or once you change to a different driver, it'll probably take about another five to ten seconds before it loads out of that menu or whatever because of the fact that it's saving it as a another uh, thing, I guess. If you want to know how to mod at Art Sounds of 3, there are def, def English, please, not Japanese. There's many videos online uh, explaining how you can install like car sets, and tracks, and other mods and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into that because A, there's already videos on it. B, I haven't touched this game in so long. I don't know how to do anything anymore. It's just saying. Okay, I don't know how to use GIMP, I don't know how to use Photoshop, and I definitely don't know, definitely haven't played much of Enter Sounds 3 as of late, so, yeah. Somebody wanted me to make an update video on how to, how to do this, so here it is. Now, if you enjoyed the updated version of How to Paint a Car in Enter Sounds 3, please leave a like, and... Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel sitting around 950 subscribers as I'm speaking and go ahead and check out any of the other videos that pop up on the screen and check out the J Japanaholic podcast down in the die description below anyways guys thank you all so much for tuning in I've been Taylor from the Fast Lane Racing Station signing off good night